potential record-breaking crowd tonight at Bill Snyder Family Stadium. Kickoff between 20th ranked Kansas State and number five Auburn coming up. That question tonight. Auburn won the toss and will receive. That's Rock Thomas, a true freshman, very talented, who is deep, along with Corey Grant. And we are underway on Thursday night. That kick angled toward the sideline and a big break here for Auburn to start the game with excellent field position as Patterson kicks it out of bounds. Season. And he'll throw it on first down. And the pass is caught at midfield. 14th catch for Duke here in third and long. To the sideline, broken up. Intended for coach Denzel McDaniel got a hand in there. It's fourth. Grab him, obviously, it wouldn't have been pass interference, but because he grabbed him up top, it was pass interference. And a fumble on first down. Waters trying to dive on it, and he did not come up with it, so it's still free. Auburn appears to have it. Still no signal yet by the referee. Communicate down on this end of the field point on the road. Already an incompletion on third down and seven. And Marshall taken down, but he doesn't have the ball. It's Corey Grant. He only gets to the 17, though, brought down by Green. You guys talked about it when you're watching here. And it is good. And the Tigers get three points off the Kansas State fumble. Could have been worse, though. And right to the air. And lock it on the ground. First down. Out to the 38. to 13-yard gain. Where they... Auburn stacking the box. Here's a forward pass that Lockett could not break a tackle. Otherwise, it would have had a first down. Holsey, who is... Water's going to throw, and right at the first down marker, the catch was made by Curry Sexton. We'll see where they spot it. And it looks like he's going to be just draw Auburn offside here if they can, and they do. Angelo Blackson shoves the center, B.J. Finney, and it'll be a first down. I think Angelo is fourth and short. Big hole here for Jones into the secondary. Tripped up by Holsey, but still gets in. First down, they go for it again on fourth down. Waters with time, and the pass is caught. First down to the 15-yard line, Cody Cook. To see how they respond now that they're in the red zone. Here's a fade to the end zone. It was caught. There's a flag down. He was out of bounds. Lockett caught it anyway. He was three of the defense. The ball will be placed on the two-yard line. It's down. You guys like that. Waters to the air. And through the hands of the wide receiver and picked off by Jones. Unable to come up with a catch was Tyler Lockett. Jones flagged twice already in the first quarter. Now gets an interception. Kansas seats about 52,000. Here's Grant off the edge and pushed out right at the first down marker at the 30-yard line. You got to have tremendous eye distrust. He's got the crowd behind him. Trying to get their first third down conversion of the night. Pass thrown underneath. And they do a good job wrapping up the receiver, Marcus Davis. Grand 11. It's one-on-one -on -one out there. Really unforced errors, too. You had the fumble on the exchange and then just the drop by Lockett. Short punt. And a different punter that time. And Lockett has room. Lockett past the 45. Great return by Lockett inside the 45-yard line of Auburn. Team play here of the opening quarter. And Waters to the air. A pass high, but pulled in by Curry Sexton. Fourth throw it all game long. They got their heavy package in here for third and one with Gronkowski at fullback. Yes, that is one of their Gronk brothers. He's the youngest of five. Here's the pitch to Robinson. And he steps out of bounds after he gets the first down to the 31. 
defensive quality control is uh, what he's doing, but does work with quarterbacks on. Third down and three. You got the cushion to get at the bottom right here. And Waters instead throws incomplete. Not sure if there was miscommunication between Waters and. And he misses it wide to the left, and you saw the win. I think it was going to miss anyway, but it blew it even further left, so it went on the ground. And Marshall to the air. That's tipped at the line. And it's intercepted. Kansas State ball. The last two pass attempts by Marshall tipped at the line of scrimmage. And brings pressure here on third down and ten. And Waters setting up the wide receiver screen to lock it, but he is tackled at the line of scrimmage. Blackson made a mistake on the offside earlier. A good play there. So fourth down for a field goal following a turnover by Kansas State at its own 20. Another pass play. And Marshall going deep again. Dropped. Duke Williams might have scored had he caught it. Flies on good field position after two punt returns by Lockett. And they get a big running lane here for Demarcus Robinson. A nine-yard pickup into Tiger territory. The thing I like about Kansas State. Kowski into the backfield here for second and short. And Waters rolling out. Going to throw it deep. And Trujillo able to make the catch for a first down at the 24. It's a 24-yard. Man-to-man coverage outside for Jake Waters here. Look, he's audibling. Little cat and mouse. Auburn audibles on defense. Waters complete. And spinning away is Curry Sexton to the five and tackled inside the five for first and goal. Where's that cow that mouse game we talked about? Jake Waters went to a slant route. He thought. Now they're checking. And the play clock at three. Waters hands it off. Robinson in. Touchdown, K State. Cats capitalize on you were saying earlier down there you thought they should run the football as that point after just squeaks through they did they kept to the ground game D, you're talking about a missed field goal Kansas State has met Auburn's physical challenge so far Marshall just by the 13 passing that time it's caught by Williams and he gets the first down to the 36 yard line and hey guys I gotta be honest because I'm thinking this first third down conversion four to go Little half roll for Marshall. And this one is caught for a first down by Quan Bray. And that is a tracker that specializes in these situations. Got his hand down here. Third down and seven. Marshall to the air. Marshall's pass is caught. That was a dart thrown to Duke Williams to the 40 of Kansas State. Marshall pulls it back, looking deep again. And he's got a man inside the 20. Broken tackle. Lewis inside the five. Touchdown, Auburn. And just like that, after a 40-yard catch, the Tigers retake the lead. The first thing I was impressed about with this throw. Snap a little high, but point after makes it 10-7. Second touchdown. Their defense get lucky. A shovel pass to Charles Jones, who's loose in the secondary and into Auburn territory. Three timeouts, minute 16, clock will stop. Third down and three. Going to be a pass. Waters has it complete to Sexton inside the 30, heading for the sideline. Kansas State ball at the 27-yard line. First down with four. Plenty of time, though, and two timeouts. Going to be another pass here for Waters, and it's caught by Lockett. Takes a shot, but he hangs on this time. First down inside the 15. That wind is whipping down there. They get it down, and he missed it wide to the right this time. And that'll end the half with Auburn on top, 10-7. Back at its 21. Low snap, Marshall 
And a float it down the sideline. Incomplete. Trying to hit Sammy Coates and the defender, Morgan Burns, injured himself. The State, you're looking for 16. Tyler Lockett here in the slot. Part of a bunch set there. Waters with time. Now gets out of the pocket and throws complete for a first down. So he got outside the pocket, didn't run, but completed the pass inside the 40 to Curry Sexton. Time of possession of plus four and a half minutes for the Wildcats. Here's a design quarterback run as Waters finds a hole and finds a first down to the 25-yard line. And we've talked to patient at the line of scrimmage. Waters... Completes it again to Sexton. Wrapped up in the open field by Holsey. That's a five-yard gain, though, to the twin on his way in the first half. Comes in motion now on third down and five. Waters in trouble. Eludes pressure. And sideline pass pulled in for a first down by Burton. First down inside the Auburn 15. They can get five. Play clock inside five. Waters fade to the end zone. Almost caught, but incomplete. While Sexton had to adjust his body and still almost was missed twice. This is a 22-yard attempt. And he missed it again. Wow. That one just looked like a bad kick. He had a bad snap on the one at the end. Marshall on third down and eight. And got a completion to Coates, who hung on this time for a first down. Out near the 35-yard line. They're starting to convert on third down. Marshall fakes the end around, eludes a sack, and dumps it off. Open on that far sideline was Ricardo Lewis. Little trickery. They pick up third down and long again. Get 30 down to five. It's a two. Marshall keeps, finds a running lane, and gets outside. Look out! Inside the 40 and steps out at the 38-yard line. A 17-yard run. He can't stay a chance to line up. Artis Payne got the first down as he pushed the pile to the 27-yard line. And this is... Marshall will throw. And wide open is Williams. A first down inside the 15, down to the 12, 12-yard 12 gain. And I like how Auburn uses Duke Williams. Marshall with time to the end zone. Caught! Did he hang on? He did. Touchdown, Duke Williams. Sam Ponder had told us earlier about the injury to Morgan Burns, the starting corner here. Nick Marsh in 34 seconds. Rare for a Gus Malzahn coach team. And now it's a 10-point lead for Auburn. That was wiped out by the Auburn infraction. Third down and 10. Waters gets rid of it. Sexton with the catch and the first down. A big. Here they come again. Waters with time. Everybody covered. Waters flips it downfield, and it is intercepted. Trevon Reed with the pick near midfield. Letting the play clock run down inside 10 seconds, and Marshall to the air. Going for Artis Payne. Good catch. Pass was behind him. Broken tackle, and Artis Payne out of bounds after he got the first down. To get that pick. Marshall on third and long, completes it to Williams for a first down inside the 25-yard line, and they're having trouble covering him. And guys, I think this is why fans expect lined up as a wide receiver, yeah. But they got Bray lined up to run the Wildcat. He hands it off to Grant, who gets outside to the 20-yard line. He'll come up short of the first down, but he got about 12. And I wonder if that's just part of... Marshall on the keeper, and he pinballs off defenders and gets the first down to the 12-yard line. And, and you don't see much of this from Auburn a year ago. The best receiver for Auburn. They can get a first down without getting into the end zone as Marshall throws incomplete. Tried to hit Uzama. That hit the back pylon, so now it's fourth down. It's a 25-yard attempt. Play clock at one. And that's no problem for Carlson, and it's a 13-point lead now. Waters on third and short, finds Sexton for a first down in Auburn territory. Trying to fight his way out of bounds, and does. And the in. 
Waters standing tall, delivering to Sexton to the 30-yard line. First down. Sexton saying, I got to go out. Jake Waters can take off in this situation, get a first if he needs to. Waters on third and five, looking for somebody to get open. Waters throwing to the sideline, coming back for the ball is the guy that has bailed him out all night, Curry Sexton. Big kick. Ninth play of the drive. It'll be a pass. Over the middle, Sexton. He's to the five and then push out. Did not get the first down. Clock will stop those who shoved out around the fart. Going to be a run play to Jones. Got the first down. Did he get the end zone? No. Tackled at the one. Clock will stop here as they reset the balls. We're inside four minutes to go. First and goal at the one. Here's Jones. Going outside. Touchdown. After the missed 22-yarder by Jan Cantelli and the Bronx cheer for the half. Will they even need a third down conversion? Second and four. Artis Payne again and picks a hole and finds the first down to the 36-yard line. Yeah. Championship Absolutely. game in the Big 12. Second down and 10. Here's Marshall. And he gets back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard. So the next snap will come at about 2.05. Playing at home, but you don't follow that formula. Now you got Sammy Coates back on the field. You got Duke Williams back on the field. The two playmakers at the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen. And it will be a pass. Marshall Pumps going deep. Got him in. It's caught inside the 30. Might be the game clincher as Duke Williams pulls it in. More time. Marshall takes a knee, and that's it. Auburn escapes Manhattan with a 20 to 14 win. And it's one of the newcomers, Duke Williams. Comes up big. A game clinching 39 yard reception. But give a quarterback credit, too, for putting it on the money, Nick Marshall. 20 to 14, the final Auburn beats Kansas State for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, Sam Ponder. I'm Dave Pash. More from Manhattan later, right now, Sports Center.